This is the model of an electric doorbell. Today we will study the structure and function of an electric doorbell. In this model we see an iron piece and on both the arms of this iron piece an insulated copper coil is wound. This copper coil acts as an electromagnet in this electric doorbell. Here we see an iron strip which is in close contact with this contact screw. It is fitted with a screw here and here we see a hammer which is going to strike on this gong of the bell. Here there are the terminals of the battery, two terminals and this is a switch for closing and opening the circuit. Now let us see the circuit of this doorbell. This upper coil is connected to one terminal of the battery and this contact screw is connected to the another terminal of the battery with the help of a wire and this lower coil is connected to this screw of this iron strip. Thus we see the circuit of this electric doorbell. When we switch on the current flows through this circuit and when current flows these coils create magnetic fields around them and these coils act as an electromagnet. And when it becomes an electromagnet, this iron strip gets attracted towards it and this hammer strikes on this gong. But at the same time, a gap is created between this iron strip and contact screw, means the circuit breaks and current stops flowing, means this coil is no more an electromagnet and this iron strip moves back. But when it moves back, it comes in contact with the contact screw, the circuit is again completed, current flows and this coil again becomes an electromagnet, this strip moves forward and the, uh, this hammer strikes on the bell. Means whenever this electromagnet attracts this iron strip, this hammer strikes on the gong and the bell rings. It, this process happens in succession and bell rings. That means we understand here this is magnetic effect of an electric current. Let us see how the bell rings.